let's begin the session sorry in the previous sessions we are almost completed in the real time which we frequently used annotations so in the last sessions we just discuss these annotations right i hope you everyone practiced very well okay so now this assert api right assertion api in jnt we are going to discussing only one method i am going to discussing how we are going to using this assert equals i am going to discussing with you but with this knowledge you can use n number of methods right how to call api i already explained right what is static method what is instance method how we can call everything i explained i already created one separate playlist for that one api calling is very very important here uh, without time waste i just created fruit class in the real time see src main java under this src main java we have some packages controller uh, like uh, repository right do right imp classes will be there so so based on those layers we are going to uh, creating uh, under the src test java for test cases purpose we are going to creating layers here also so again we are going to uh, suppose here fruit fruit dot java will be there this is source code file right for that respective source code file we are going to writing our test case in the real time so that's why here i created test fruit dot java now you are understand right why i created here test fruit dot java if it is fruit dot java in the real time naming convention should be test prefix as test test fruit dot java okay super so previously we discussed here like this annotations number of annotation we are just used but now for this real time code this is what's up fruit class source code file right source class file what's up fruit right so inside this fruit class we have method what's up apple method right super apple method so we have one main method and inside this one we are created fruit object and after that one we are calling with this object reference we are calling what's our apple method because of this is what's our instance type of method right instance method so this is fruit class so how we can call instance method using object or object reference so here object reference dot apple we are going to calling right f dot apple and we are going to passing honey and crisp right so whenever passing this honey it will be copied into this string one and uh, whenever passing this crisp and it will copied into string two right so this is name one and name two right honey will be copied inside name one crisp will be copied into name two right whenever adding name one plus name two and we are going to returning what's up this after adding the result we are going to returning and it will be copied here it will return to here at line number 13 apple name one right and you can print out this is what's up this is just code java concept only right clear this is what's up java source code file if you observe right public class fruit this is what's a code java clear so you can try it honey crisp apple if it is available in the supermarket in hyderabad or somewhere okay now come back to our test fruit dot java so we already written test fruit with the naming convention for this respective respective fruit class we are going to writing our test class test case right test class we just created already see this is fruit and prefix as test it is naming convention 
should be take like this it is recommended to follow naming conventions right test fruit we need to write like this superb sir so i'm going to writing test case for this class and inside this class what are available methods i'm going to writing though for those methods only i'm going to writing test case right fruit class having one method apple so take this one come back to here public void test so what we are going to testing apple this is what sir method naming convention test apple some people will write like this apple test right so but take like this test apple okay it's good fine so sir we have number of uh, marking framework available in the market there is a different naming convention you have to catch those naming convention while implementing these test cases right so observe sir carefully so this is what sir one of the test test method that's why i at the rate of test super now observe sir there will be given so let me write in the comments given when then observe carefully see whenever giving this object observe whenever giving this object see fruit f equals to new fruit when of giving this object and we are going to uh, whenever calling this object reference dot apple method and we are passing whenever we are passing observe so what we are passing here honey and what we are going to passing here crisp right we are passing these right these are what sir parameters okay we are passing parameter these parameters right so what it is going to returning you can observe we are going to getting the actual result right actual result right see observe whenever calling this f dot apple that means object reference dot apple and whenever passing these parameters as one honey and parameter uh, as second one crisp right when passing this one and it is going to what sir it is going to coming to here and it is going to adding and it is going to giving result back to this variable apple name one right so like that it is giving result back to here actual result right actual result this is what sir actual result and then what happens sir we are going to using here assertions api assertions dot so here what we are going to using here assert equals right so assert equal right you can observe we have overloaded methods and number of you can use as of now like this right here observe actual result is you can give here and expected result is what sir what you are going to expecting honey and crisp it is going to combining the name right this is what's a honey crisp apple okay it is checking right whether expected value is equals to actual result actual value right it is going to checking this is what you need to catch right superb right so it is going to checking whether 
our expected value is equals to actual result right this is actual result right and this is what's the expected result right superb sir i'm going to running run as genuine test yes you can observe see green line green bar will be displayed like this okay you can observe test apple right see if it is passed to like this will success green line success means here green green line okay green bar it is displayed see this is what's a test apple you can you can also apply your annotations here order one test one right we don't have here any num n number of methods here this is n number of uh, test methods we we have only one method right so that's why i'm not applied so simply you can apply suppose if you want apply uh, one of the concept here see display name display name you can observe so i'm going to giving here display name like apple test okay you can take this one display name apple test and again you can run it rerun it so it is succeed so you can observe apple test previously it is not like that it is displayed now it is displayed apple test like this because of we just used here our concept was a display name we just written as apple test okay suppose if you want how looks like a failure scenario i will tell you here see here i'm giving like this h as small letter see observe carefully again i am going to rerunning run as j test see it is failed see this type of red color symbol will be there i think it is not red color so it is looks like a red color uh, it is a different form of red color okay so this color it is printed and test is failed because of here see expected honey crisp but was honey crisp only small letter it is given here see one character it is wrong then enter test case is gone fail right see expected honey crisp right each word first letter is capital here actual result is what's a honey crisp but expected like this honey crisp that's why it's fail right so if you give like this then what will happen sir expected also like this it will be print and actual result also honey crisp will be there right so rerun again run as java test now you can see observe it is successfully passed apple test see green line it is printed and red mark it is printed clear this is what sir assertions api in jnet if the developer is writing this source code file a test case should be right for this class right test case should be right for this class so that's why in the src main java we have one of the uh, layer simple layer java code by pj and here we have one of the file source code file food.java and with respect to that source code file we are going to creating uh, writing a test case right we are going to creating a uh, class again under the src test java and we have same layer here and we are going to creating a file here and we are going to uh, writing a test case for this component right for this component we are going to writing that means for this instance we are going to writing for this method we are going to writing clear so keep watching java concepts by j tutorial youtube channel and have a taste it honey crisp apple this is jay signing off keep smiling bye bye